Hi, this is Susan, and in this video, I'm gonna go over the Myers-Briggs personality type, but I'm gonna go over the four temperaments, and that's how we group the different personality, the 16 personality types. So in there, we have the artisans and the guardians. Now the artisans, they're both sensors and prefer hard facts, and they like working with their five senses in the present. What they, what, how they differ is the artisans need freedom while the guardians like security. So now I'm gonna go over traits, some of the traits so you could ask yourself, how does this apply to your life? So artisans, they feel alive when they're connected with their inner desire to experience life to the fullest as a creative who seeks adventure and taking risks. They love their freedom and thrive on a life of action-filled surprises. Free spirits hating being tied down by established systems. So ask yourself, does that apply to you? And how does it show up in your life? Do you like taking risks? Do you need your freedom? Do you not like being tied down to structure? And now we're gonna go over the guardians. Now the guardians, they value security, safety, and structure and an organized lifestyle. Consistent, trustworthy, and they follow the rules. So the exact opposite. One likes freedom, one likes security. One likes taking risks, one likes having things consistent. So ask yourself, how does this show up in your life? What are you doing what are the activities that you enjoy where you're taking risks and are adventurous and creative? And what are the things you enjoy that give you consistent and uh, structured lifestyle and provide safety and security for you? So ask yourself, how do those show up in your life and what do you enjoy? Now the next are the rationales versus the idealists. Now the rationales and idealists, what they have in common is they're both intuitive and they look to the future. They're searching for ways to make the world a better place. But the, how they differ is the rationales are logical and objective, but the idealists are emotional and subjective. So again, when we look at this, these two personality types are change agents. And the other personality type, remember I said they like structure, organization, predictability. So these personality types, they love change. They like to improve things. And you'll immediately know, are there certain things that you look at and you say immediately, there's got to be a better way. We all know people like that. It might be you, but it's, it's understanding that you're just naturally one of these or in certain areas of your life. So ask yourself, are you somebody who loves to improve things, that likes to change things, that could see a better way? So now I'm gonna describe a little bit more about the difference between them. So the rationales, they're the grand innovators, the strategic planners, and the world change agents. They focus on the future, on growth, expansion, transformation, increase productivity and efficient, efficiency. They're visionaries in search of excellence. They're the natural born leaders in search of a destiny, making the world a better place. And they look at the big picture. So ask yourself, are you that type of a person? Listen to the, the traits and ask yourself, how does this apply to your life? How does it show up? What activities do you enjoy? Now I'm gonna go over the idealists. Now the idealists are visionaries born with a sense of destiny and a need to make a difference in the world. They're skillful communicators. They lead by inspiring you to be the best, by encouraging you, motivating you, and touching you on a personal level. So again, the idealists are interested in change, but change at a personal level improving people, they enjoy communication. So remember, when you choose your career, you want an opportunity to express your personality because that's what's gonna make you feel energized. There's a, there's a feeling that you get to express what's inside of you. 
So just understand, just by looking at these four categories, you could start to see yourself. So listen to this video again and again, and really listen to the traits and ask yourself, how does this apply to you? So I hope you enjoyed this and leave a comment below on, on a, like a, a question you asked yourself or how it shows up in your life or what you learned about yourself by watching this video. And then I'm going to do other ones where I explore each of the 16 personality types.